Hey guys, James here of TCG University, coming back at you with another deck profile from our campus championship series. We're finishing out the Libra of Souls characters that just came out, as well as adding in a couple of Soul Calibur characters to kind of like fill in the batch. Uh, let me know what you guys think. This is my Siegfried deck, uh, so let's get into it. Okay guys, Siegfried is a 627 Earth Good Void character. He has two abilities, R after you block with a foundation card, add it to your staging area, and then E, check a four. This tech gets plus three or minus two damage. And its damage cannot be inc cannot receive any more bonuses or penalties. Your opponent may flip a foundation to cancel this ability. Uh, our deck is built entirely around flipping our entire opponent our opponent's entire staging area, making sure they have no options left. Uh, if you saw the vicious deck from last week, it plays a little similarly to that, but I get to add a bunch of Libra Souls cards to kind of like boost the attack strength of the deck. So uh, let's get into it. I'm playing four actions, same as the Vicious deck. If you guys want to check out that one, go ahead. It'll be in our playlist somewhere. Uh, four, your path ends here. Uh, this card says this attack gets plus X or minus X damage. X equals the number of uh, face-down foundations on opponent's staging area. They can flip two foundations to cancel. Uh, basically, you try to leave them with either like one foundation or whatnot just to make it to where they are not allowed to pay the cost for this. And then you just get to either free negate an entire attack, basically, or get to just destroy them with one of your attacks. It's just super strong and has the ability to where if you block with it, you can force your opponent to flip two of their foundations and they can discard a card to cancel that. And then if they discard, they're down a hand size, which just means your attacks are probably going to go through on the next turn anyways. Uh, I'm playing a lot of assets in my deck, uh, even more than the Cassie deck that should have came out, should come out sometime during this week. Uh, I'm playing nine total, all one ofs. Uh, so uh, we're playing one Omega Sword and Owl Shield. It is a unique weapon, one diff, five control. While it's in our stationary ready, uh, we're allowed to play blocks on no progressive. We just ignore it. And then we can check a four to give something a damage bonus equal to its block modifier. Uh, super strong. Uh, we mainly use it to block for free and then move with our Siegfried, which is pretty cool. Uh, I never got to see it and use it that way, but it was the intended purpose of that card. As well as being a spam where we could build it on our turn if we wanted to. Uh, one dedicated teacher. Uh, we're playing a bunch of cards that add assets to our staging area, uh, which is really cool combo with this card. I'll talk about it later if I, if I really want to pull it up. Uh, but we add that we uh, put this while well, this is in our staging area. We can block with it as though we're in our hand during the block step. Uh, and then our card pool after you block with this card, all of your block modifiers get minus two for the rest of the turn, minimum of zero. And then with like Owl Shield on the board, it just means all of our things get minus two difficult, minus two uh, to the block mods, and we play them for free. It's just super strong. One Cormorant, while it's in our stage area, we can block with it as though it's in our hand. It's a three diff, one block with a break or two. Super good card. One Clutez, Clutu, Clutuez, Clut, well, however you want to say it. Desperation one, two normal, one mid block. Uh, R once per turn after your attack deals damage. You get to you flip one of your opponent's foundations or assets, which is also very important. And um, at deadlock E, you can give your thrower weapon attack plus six damage. Uh, this works really well with our throw that flips stuff as well, so we get to flip two things off that. Uh, like I said, we just want to make sure our opponent has no face-ups in their staging area to where they're not allowed to cancel our ability. Uh, one Requiem. Uh, this does the same thing as his action. You can commit it to uh, give an attack minus X damage for each face down, and your opponent may flip to cancel. And then the other one is just once per turn, give an attack plus X damage, uh, plus one damage for each of their your opponent's face downs, which is also very strong. One palindrome, uh, commit one foundation before the blocks up with this attack. You return it back to its printed damage. Uh, your opponent may flip one foundation to cancel this. Uh, so this, the way this, I wanted this to work because I never got to play it as I wanted it either. Was you play Siegfried and they cancel so they can super buff their attack, and then you just play palindrome to make them flip another one. Or if they flip their last one, Siegfried, they can't stop the palindrome, and you get to do what you wanted anyways, which was take less damage. Uh, I never got to see it though, so it happens. Uh, one Vanator, it's a 2-5 Breaker 1, 1 mid block. Uh, while it's in the card pool, it doesn't count towards progressive. Uh, form, add this card to your card pool for the turn. After your attack deal, after an attack deals damage, after your attack deals damage, or less than printed damage, flip one of your opponent's foundations. Uh, it was just a cool attack that I could, a uh, cool asset I could add that I can pop into our staging area uh, with other cards, as well as be a cool flipping mechanic we needed for our deck. 
uh, one Omega Sword and Elk Shield. It's a one six. While it's in our stage room, we can block with it. If we block something, we only take one from it. And then twice per turn, we can flip a foundation to get them to commit a face up, uh, which is also very strong because we sometimes just want to push our attacks through. Uh, then Cavziel, it's a two five unique weapon, three high block. Seal one of E commit, seal one of our opponent's foundations, super strong. And then R check a four after your opponent plays an ability on a foundation during the enhanced step. This attack gets minus one speed, making it easier for us to block and hopefully move with Siegfried as well. As well. Uh, onto the attacks. All of our attacks do something with flipped foundations or flipping foundations. Uh, so spinning pile driver. Uh, first enhance, flip one of your opponent's foundations. You get to choose. It's a zero four th throw with no block. Uh, we pump damage with like Siegfried, making it a zero seven. Pump damage with other things, making it stronger. The main idea was just to flip something and get a little poke damage in. Which is, it does exactly what we want. Next card we're playing is whoop, for Pilgrimage of Anthropos. Uh, it's a three mid for five. E, if your opponent has three or more face downs, you get to draw a card, meaning we get to increase our hand size, which it's very likely our opponent gets to three face downs, so we don't have to worry about that. And then E, your opponent flips one foundation. Does the same thing as Power Driver. Just make sure we flip something during our opponent's turn. To where Siegfried can't be negated or our other effects can't be negated. As well as having a two low block makes it very, very good. Uh, Rook Splitter. It's a four mid for five. Five diff. Powerful two. Stun two. One mid block. One high block. E, your opponent flips two foundations. Your opponent may discard one card to cancel. Uh, basically, we want to force our opponent to either discard and take our damage. Or we want our opponent to just let us flip their foundations so we get advantage from it. Uh, it it's a very good starter or uh, uh, lead in attack a lead in attack or secondary attack uh, on to uh, the like powerhouse of the deck of what I wanted to do with it which is I shall save humanity e add one asset that you can normally play from your discard pile to your stage area hence why we play so many assets um, only playable for your opponent has three or more assets. Uh, three or more face downs, which is also very easy to get to. My problem was during one of my matches, my opponent never built past two for our match, so I never got to flip everything. But then E, commit two of our assets, which is also very easy to get. Uh, this attack gets powerful 10, and then we just ditch all of our momentum to do cool things. It's a five mid for seven with a zero high block. Super strong. And then the uh, big kill card of the deck that I probably should have been playing one more of and one less humanity, but I didn't realize humanity was the two check and not this one. So that was my bad. Uh, it's from Science with Love. It's the card we uh, we previewed on our channel when uh, the set was getting previewed. Uh, it's a five, four high for five, zero low block. E, this tech gets multiple X. X equals the number of face downs in our opponent's staging area, which is very easy to get that number to be super high and get a bunch of momentum with our character uh, for the way we play it. But it also gets facilitated by the second enhance, which is add the top X cards of your deck to your momentum. X equals the number of assets in your staging area. So the idea was we wanted to build a bunch of assets either by playing them during our turn, adding with uh, I Shall Save Humanity, or another card in our deck, which I'll explain about it later, which is, uh, lost it, uh, Key to Humanity's Freedom, uh, and then give it multiple X, and then get to get the momentum, and then just have a bunch of multiples that we just get to give plus three damage to that our opponent's not allowed to interact with without flipping. And so we wanted to flip their entire staging area, have the multiples and have them be four high for eights and have like six of them and then have them just not be able to be reduced and have our opponent just have to deal with that. Uh, we never got to that, unfortunately, but that was the goal of the deck. Uh, so we, our opponent always flipped a bunch of foundations. So having four thunderous roars were very good. Uh, e commit your attack is plus one speed for each face down your opponent has which is very strong usually uh, when uh, when you place when I played this deck in the style of this deck we get uh, we get four or five six foundations flipped immediately uh, a lot of times during like the vicious match when I played this card uh, our opponent had like an entire staging area of just nothing but flip foundations at like 10 so like this gave 10 speed just on its own with the first half of the ability. And then with the second half, if we have 30 or more cards in our discard pile, we get to double that number, meaning we just gave 20 speed for free by committing one foundation. This card's very good in any character that can flip foundations very easily, and I really like the idea of how this deck functions. I wish I would have got a better matchup in our in the tournament bracket. Uh, then we're playing four Commander of the Outworld's Armies. 
Uh, we reduce damage, but sometimes that, get can that gets canceled. And sometimes we don't even want to use it because we just want to face tank and flip something with Outworld, uh, Command of the Outworld's Armies, which is a Breaker 1, 3 mid block, 2, two difficulty, 5 check foundation that says after we take 4 or more damage from an unblocked attack, your opponent's next attack gets minus 2 damage and you get to flip a foundation, which is super strong because you get to choose and your opponent's next attack, attack gets minus damage. And then you can minus that damage even further with Siegfried, which is just super, super good. Uh, toughest punk in junior high before you take damage neg that uh, damage by three works really well with Siegfried because Siegfried reduces the damage of an attack it says it can't receive damage penalties this is not a damage penalty uh, this reduces the damage you would you would take so you reduce something by two and then you reduce something again by three before you take the damage which is um, nuts so then on to the card I was talking about the key to the key to humanity's freedom we're mainly playing it for the first ability, which is E-Remove. Add one asset that you can normally play from your discard pile to your staging area. Destroy that card during the end phase. This card works really well with things like uh, Omega Shield and Elk Sword. Works really well with things like Cormorant. Works really well with things like Dedicated Teacher, where we get to play them as though they were in our hand. So we add this, and this adds this to our staging area. This lets us block from our staging area. Then you or you add this and this blocks and you get a breaker two. You add this, you get to block and take only one. Uh, it does really well with that as well as just giving us uh, more more assets for things like from science or if we need to get them powerful for I shall save I shall save humanity. It's just a this card was going to be very good for what I wanted it to be. Unfortunately, uh, during the one match where I thought it was going to be relevant, I never checked assets despite playing nine of them. But you know that happens. So, what are you going to do? Uh, the next card we're playing is for Guardian of the Spirit Sword. Uh, this card says discard one found discard one card, add one asset from our discard pile to our hand. It's really what we play it for, but it also has the ability to n decrease the speed of an attack by two or three if it's a weapon, which also just lets us block and move a Siegfried if we're able to. Uh, playing for Eviscerate, this card says after we play it, if our opponent has more face downs than us, we get to move it for free down to our stage area. And then after we are dealt damage by an attack, we get to flip one of our opponent's foundations, which is also super strong. Like I said, we want to make sure our opponent has no foundations in their staging area that they are allowed to play abilities on. All of them are face down, and we don't have to worry about them. It's And we just get to do whatever we want for free because all the conditions for our cards is our opponent flips, and they can't flip anything. Uh, more damage hate with uh, Immortal Knowledge. It's a spam that just gives minus one damage or plus one if we need to. Super strong. Super basic, really, is what it is. Uh, three, War for Armageddon. It's a 2-4 with a 4 mid-block. E, flip. Flip one of your opponent's foundations with a responsibility on it. Uh, flipping things with responsibilities are very good. You get to get rid of things like Shadow Inheritance. You get to get rid of things like... Um, I'm trying to think of good ones right now. Um, man, I can't think of anything right now. Shadow Inheritance was the first one that came to mind, I guess. But you get to get rid of things that have uh, responses on them. Make sure your opponent can't like respond to what you're doing. Make sure you don't have to worry about it. things like uh, Dark Side of Karma. Things like um, as some of them come to mind, and another one just leaves. Uh, just getting rid of things that would cause problems for you or negate your abilities. Just get rid of them. You just don't want to deal with them. Uh, unfortunately, I also only ever saw enhance abilities, no responses. But that also happens. Uh, two Pride of the Tribe. Or after this foundation is committed to pass the check for a block on an attack. Your opponent flips one of their foundations, playable while committed. Basically, if you block, you want to you commit this and flip one of their foundations and then move the new fa the card you blocked with with Siegfried, meaning you never lost anything but got to flip something for free. It was supposed to be very good. Uh, also never came in handy. My games were very, very short-lived. Uh, then Servant of Ares, it's a 2-5-3 mid-block, Desperation 1. E commit your throw attack is plus four damage. We only play one throw. We're not worried about that ability. We're worried about that bottom ability. E lose two vitality. Flip one of your opponent's foundations. Like I said, we are just making sure they have no face ups. I'm going to flip your shit. That is the goal of the deck. Uh, that, that's just the goal of the deck, guys. Uh, last card that contributes to that goal as well. The snake becomes the dragon. This card doesn't see a lot of play. I wish it would. I think with all the foundation flipping and whatnot in this set. Along with the other sets, uh, Vicious will see a rise. I think this card should see a rise as well if you play similar cards. Uh, e commit. This deck is minus two speed for each of your opponent's face down foundations. Uh, so if you flip their entire staging area, you basically get to block one card for free with this. 
Thanks again for checking out the profile, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, comment on it, share, subscribe with your friend, share with your friends, subscribe. Uh, if you want to support us, go to patreon.com slash TCG University. Uh, if you want to let me know what you think about it down in the comments, tell me how bad I am. Tell me uh, what ideas you have. Tell me, show me your build of Siegfried. I'd love to see it. Talk to me about it. Um, if you uh, if you want to support us, yeah. Uh, that's that's about everything, guys. So uh, stay learned.